Okay, so remember that momentum is really a quantity of motion, or in other words, it's inertia in motion. So the equation for it is mass times velocity, and you can see that we would have that mass would be inertia and motion would be velocity. What we're gonna do in this lab then is we wanna prove the law of conservation of momentum. Law of conservation of momentum, which is gonna tell us that the momentum in is equal to the momentum out. So we're gonna get the momentum of two cars before the collision, they're going to collide and rebound off of each other, and then we'll measure the momentum of them out, and we'll see if they actually are equal to each other for that. Okay. All right, so this trial here is gonna be the two cars here with equal masses colliding with each other. So I'm gonna start the sensors. Okay, so this is for the first trial. What we're gonna do is we're going to get the velocity. Notice that the red car here had a velocity. Even though we say this was a frictionless track, it really was losing a little bit of uh, energy. Same thing here as the blue car with its negative velocity. So to get that, I'm going to click and highlight that data point that's right there and get the mean value or the sum, the mean, and it's going to be 0 0.3398. Then I'm going to do the same thing down here. You'll notice that they collide and the red car is now heading in the negative direction. So I'm going to now highlight that point. If I can get that point. And it is a mean value of negative 0.3 Five, four, nine. Okay, for the blue data, the initial velocity is negative 0 0.4006. And if I take and get the value up here, that value is going to be a positive 0.2796. So we're 95. So looking at your data table, this is what your first data table should be. And remember, you're going to get your masses off of the earlier part of the video where we masked each of the red and the blue cars. And this one was the blue car without the extra mass on it. So now that we got the data for the first trial, I wanna just set up the problem for you. So remember that conservation of momentum says that the momentum in is going to equal the momentum out. And what we want to determine is, are they going to be equal to each other? So momentum is a mass times velocity. So I'm gonna take the mass times velocity for each object before and add them together and that will be my momentum in. So I'm gonna take mass 0.2526 times a velocity of 0.3398 plus the mass times the velocity of the second car, which was the red car, so 0.2567 times negative 0.40 Oh, 06. Then put all of that into your calculator and when you're done, that's what's going to go into the pin value here. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side to get our momentum out. So we'll take and do, uh, if I change this to be, we're going to do 0.2526 times the velocity of negative 0.3549 plus 0.2567 times the velocity of 0.2795. And then again, put all of that in your calculator and that will go in for your deviation. To get your, I'm sorry, for your momentum out. To get your deviation then, we're literally just gonna take and subtract the two. We'll say the pin minus the pout is equal to our deviation. So this value minus this value is gonna give us our deviation. And that's how you'll walk through each one of the different trials for this lab.
All right, so this trial here is going to be unequal masses. And notice we have the block here on the blue car. So as we collide the cars here, think about what's going to happen here with the velocities and the masses here. Is one car going to go off faster than the other? It's going to be slower, or is it going to be the same speed here? Okay, this is trial two. Remember, we added an extra mass to the blue mass. So the red mass coming in, which is the one heading towards the right in the positive direction, has a velocity of 0.4230 on the in. And then for the out, it's going to have a velocity of negative 0.7020 negative 0.7020. So the next what All right, so in this trial here, we're actually going to send the cars together and actually going to stick together instead of rebounding off of them. So I'm going to send the red car here moving into the blue car that's not moving. So think about that in terms of our initial velocities and what our final mass and what our final velocity is going to be once they stick together. Okay, so here we are for trial three. This is where the mass is stuck together. The velocity of the red car coming in was 0.3839. Then remember that the blue car had an initial velocity of zero, and then they came over here and they stuck together. So if we get this velocity here, it's going to be our last one, and it is point. If I can get just that one dot point you saw it there for a second point ninety one zero ninety one nine so zero nine one nine and that's the velocity of the two together and that's what your table should look like all right so you notice this last trial is going to be a little bit different here so notice that the cars are actually going to start here with zero velocity and we're going to you know give them velocity here through the springs so think about this in terms of fireworks here. So when the firework explodes, all the pretty colors and streaming effects here go out in a symmetrical way. So when you think about this here, you know, think about the cars here with unequal masses. You know, is one of them going to move faster than the other? Is it going to move slower? What's going to happen here? Okay, so this is the one where they re they started out with zero velocity, so both of their initial velocities will be zero, and then the red one rebounded to the left with a velocity of negative point one point five two six four, and then the the blue box car rebounded to the right with a velocity of point five one three eight point five one three eight. And so that is what your data table should look like then. And remember that we kept the mass, the extra mass on the blue one.